In this video, we're going to take a look at views and zoom in Microsoft Word 2016. Um, views allow you to look at your document in more than one way. And uh, these options are on the view tab way over here on the far left hand side. And there are five options uh, reading, print, web, outline, and draft. And uh, the default is print layout, and I'm guessing that about 99% of the time that's what you're going to want. This actually shows you the edges of the piece of paper, so it's going to show you exactly what this is going to look like when you print it out on a piece of paper, and that is probably what you want uh, almost all of the time. Uh, there are some other options, though. We'll take a quick look at them. There's a reading mode here. You see it looks like a little book. Click on that. And this is something I don't think you're real likely to use on a desktop computer, but you might do it on a laptop or a tablet. Uh, the idea here is to get away from scrolling and to kind of simulate the way a book looks. So here's like the middle binding of the book, and here's the left page, and here's the right page. And what you do to move forward is you just click or tap on the arrow over here, and basically, you know, it kind of gets rid of the scrolling. It's kind of like turning the page in a book. So that's, uh, that's the analogy that they're going for here. If you go to um, reading view, and then let's go back to view here, and uh, let's go back to uh, edit document, and it takes us back so we can see our ribbon up here with all the options. Uh, another option here is web layout. Click on web layout, and it will show you what your document's going to look like when somebody views it in a browser. So we don't see the edges of a piece of paper because there is no such thing when you're viewing a document in a browser. So uh, you can save Word documents as HTML. They're kind of ugly HTML, but it's a quick and easy way to get HTML files. And uh, if you do that, uh, you might want to use this view to see what it's going to look like. Uh, there's also an outline option, uh, which I use uh, very infrequently. Uh, when you choose outlining, um, in addition to the view tab, you get this little outlining tab up here. And um, it, if you use styles, uh, if you use the headings and styles, for example, I used heading one here uh, for each one of my chapter headings, uh, you can go up here and just have it show you things at a certain level. So I'm going to pick level one, which would be heading one. And apparently I need to choose level two for heading one. Okay, so um, these are the um, chapter headings. And so you can basically kind of condense it into an outline form. You can click on a plus sign here. Uh, if you want to see what it's going to look like. And let's try that. And there we go. Got to double click on it. And then double click on it again to get it back. Uh, so this kind of helps you, um, you know, see uh, your document from a very high level. So I can see all my chapter headings here. And uh, you can actually, one kind of nice thing about this is you can rearrange big chunks of your data. So if I want to move chapter one, uh, down here to the bottom of the document, I can do that. And it didn't just move the heading here, it moved the whole, everything that followed that up to chapter 2. Now I didn't really want to do that, so I'm going to click on undo up here. Uh, I could also do the thing, same thing by typing control Z. Okay, so let's close outline view. I don't think that's something you're going to use too often. And let's go back to our view tab. And the last one is draft view. And this one is basically obsolete as far as I'm concerned. Uh, draft view shows you kind of what your document is going to look like on a page, but there's a couple of exceptions. Uh, you know, you don't see the edges of the paper here. You see pretty much what it's going to look like on the page, but you don't know where the margins are. And, you know, what you see for page break is this dotted line down here. Uh, the other thing that it does is if you have pictures in your document, it just puts a placeholder in there. Um, this goes back to the early days of Word when a lot of computers did not have enough computing horsepower to be able to quickly update pictures and uh, draw the document on the page. And so rather than having to sit and wait a few seconds for your screen to redraw, uh, they offered draft mode. And I haven't used computer for a long time that was so slow that we needed to use draft mode. So let's go back to print mode here, which is I think where you're going to stay most of the time. Okay. Um, there are also some options down here for those first three. And notice these first three are bigger icons than the other two, and I think what mic Microsoft is telling you that it thinks you're going to use those three more often than the other two. And it also puts those three down here. So I can go to Reading View down here, and I can go back to Print Layout View, and I can go to Web View, and let's go back to Print Layout View. And that's how views work in uh, 
uh, Word 2016. The other thing we're going to look at in this video is uh, Zoom. And, um, you know, there are some options up here on the View tab under Zoom. Uh, you can pick some options here, you know, and it'll make your text bigger or smaller. And uh, I really don't think you're going to do that very often. Let me cancel out of there. There's also a Zoom for 100%. Um, and um, the reason I don't think you can do it here is because, first of all, you probably going to spend most of your time on the home tab and you have to go click on the tab to get there and then you have to click on this then you have to pick an option and you have to click on okay and it ends up being uh, a lot of work when we've got down here we got a little slider that'll let us zoom all the way to 10 percent on the low end and up to 500 percent on the high end we're not changing font sizes here all we're doing is basically you know um, giving the option to like put a magnifying glass over this and view it at uh, different magnifications so you can quickly slide that back and forth uh, and let me show you something. Let me drag it all the way down 10% here. And you can't read the text anymore, so you know you might wonder how useful this is. But uh, it gives you a real high-level view of your document. And unfortunately, uh, it just does everything in one column here. Some of you have to go up here and click on the View tab on multiple pages. And I don't know why, but it, it uh, changes the zoom factor when you do that. And so now I'm going to zoom again back down to 10%. And now when I do that, instead of putting them all in the column, it puts a whole bunch of stuff up here on the screen for me. And I kind of get a high-level view. So uh, what this is kind of useful for, I think, is um, you might see some places where um, you've got an extra blank page in there or something like that. Or maybe you've got some place where there's like one line at the bottom of a page or one line um, left over at the top of the page or something like that. And so you may want to go in and fix that. So you know, it's right here. Uh, I've got a couple of pages here, and this is the way it's supposed to be, but uh, it does look a little different. You can see that real quickly if you zoom out to a very low magnification level, so you can just see an overview of basically the shapes of your pages. And uh, the other way to zoom is, uh, which is the one I use most of the time, is hold the control key down. Now let me uh, do that right now and then just take your mouse wheel and as you push on it uh, it makes everything bigger and if you pull on it which I'm doing now uh, it makes everything smaller and so that is usually the fastest I think and easiest way and you can quickly you know uh, I can make this quite a bit bigger uh, and still have everything fit on my screen here and I'm going all the way up to 180 percent so this is the fast way, I think, to do your zoom in. Uh, hold the control key down and uh, use the wheel on the mouse. And that takes care of views and zooming in Word 2016.